Sabote, and we are running again. This is Jeff. This is David. This is David. We're playing Equinox. Yay. We're running backwards because it's backtracking in, in order to, um, you know, make make the time limit. I, I didn't want to split it into a, another video. Another now we will die repeatedly over and over again. This is the worst part of the game. I hate it. And there was much gnashing of teeth uh, in this. Uh, of there's teeth. one death. Actually, kind of wondering how many times I died. That's one. Okay, that's two. That's the second death. Uh, after a few, I will speed it up so you don't have to watch all of these. Um, I'm thinking maybe there's a hidden block because and that's not unreasonable No, like when you do something the hard way a lot of times in Equinox There's just like an easier way to do it that you just didn't know no, yeah. and you just got frustrated and spent all your time Doing it the hard way and be like yeah, I did it the hard way and then you're like, oh, it's an easy way. Yeah Yeah, this is 8x speed <laughs> Yeah. This is eight times yeah. speed. It's actually, actually, when we're watching, it, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep count. Uh, when, when I upload the video, I'll, I'll keep a count oh, God. for the death. I can't actually count them right now because it's going so fast at the, <laughs> the computer is not currently keeping up with it, so yeah. I can't, yeah. can't keep track. Okay, so after ridiculous amount of time wasted, finally bounce my way to the exit. And then you accidentally step into the no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hooray. This makes this part seem extremely easy in comparison. How many times did you die on it? Uh, I don't know. How'd you get all your health back? Oh, wait, because you just ate an apple. Yeah, just Duh. ate just the apple. Okay, I'm a uh, I lost a lot of health yes, in that you last did. part. You lost a lot. A lot. That is the last... That is the last extremely hard thing. Um, the Inner Sanctum, which we'll actually be getting to here, which is the White Corridors... It's almost like its own separate mini dungeon. It has, I mean, it's still the same theme. Mm -hmm. It has a slightly different uh, look to the columns, just a different color, really. They're still pinstriped. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I like it. It's, it has, introduces a new gimmick, uh, which is just straight. <laughs> Glendal, what? <sighs> ah, by this point, you should have known that was going to happen. Okay, there is no hidden spikes over there, so you can get a better position by just going behind it like that, yeah. And and also remember, it does not instantly explode. You can walk for a good half, That's quarter, second, second something, something like that. Like that. One, two frames. Well, that is the end of the blue corridor. We have just a few more tokens to go, and they are going to be in the white corridor, which is the inner sanctum. This is the very middle of the palace, getting close to the throne room. Have a little okay. refreshing pause there. All right, the new gimmick here is completely invisible walls. Because why not? There's just invisible walls. Yeah, it's just straight up invisible walls just blocking you. Wow. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. It's just. I mean, I guess it could be just invisible blocks, but you can't stand on them because they're stacked on top. Of, but it's the same difference. It's invisible. invisible walls. Yep, can't go that way. So yes, this will require a little bit of time to figure out where the the tricks are. Uh, see if you can guess what the solution is. Uh, angle jump off the block up to the top? Yes, that is what you have to do. A, a ridiculous angle jump. In order to get to the uh, either the lower or the yeah the one of those two sections at the top, uh, we'll be going we'll be going <laughs> really we'll be going right uh, and around this is this will this will be a circle so going left or going right will lead you around in a circle. So either way it works. Obviously. Either way it will work. Yes. Um, on this side of the circle, let's call this like the top of the circle. Mm -hmm. On the right and the left is going to be a token, and on the bottom of the circle is going to be the entrance to uh, the final boss room. So. Hey, there we go. There's a little uh, little jump there. Figure out where the invisible lock is. It's right there. No big deal. It didn't take too terribly long. Uh, the serendipitous floor pattern, you'll notice, has a line that you can follow in order to avoid spiky doom. Yay. Uh, I actually abuse that a lot because it gets even more ridiculously complicated. Hey, it's that kind of jump again. Remember that one that if you'll push the block instead of falling on top? Yeah. That wow, again. that's um I missed a few more times without dying, which is weird. But yeah, as soon as I hear that, yeah, that it's time to That grindy noise. Yeah, the grindy noise. That grindy there we noise. go. Hey, you made it. Other than that, there's uh there's not any there's not any gimmicks in this room. It's really just, you know, it orbits that you. Jump. You just, just it orbits. You get the token, exit, that's it. One more token to go. Like I said, this can be kind of be thought of as the right side. Yeah. Uh, this is the part where you want to use the lines on the floor to your advantage, uh, because I mean, just look at that. <laughs> you yes. can get, remember you can get closer to the walls of where the columns are than you think, uh, because uh, the yeah, like the ground is you know it has the angles like that wall there. Even if the 
Even if the column seems to protrude a little bit, it does not really. This is full of invisible, just what, just, just straight up invisible, just straight up invisible walls. Nice. And that 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 will lead to the throne room where is, the last boss is. Which is where. Yes. I, uh, the ice. Queen where the ice is. cold witch Sonia is currently, I guess, just hanging out. Yeah, just. Uh, like, like I said, there's another white potion, like not even necessary at this point. Uh, holding, holding daddy captive. Yep, exactly. Uh, let's see. I'm doing a, a little bit of investigation with the mace just to see if that's where I think it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it is. It is where I think it is. Uh, but it was it was a folly block. Awesome. Wasn't expecting that. A oh, well. I'll get it this time. An exploding block. Ah, I didn't jump fast enough because those stupid blocks. Folly block. Okay. This time we get it though. Yay. That is the last token of the game. Hey. Uh, now, if you go to the upper left, I mean, it would lead around to the yeah. where we had just started. So, no need to do that. Well, I guess that means it's time to... Uh... Uh, yeah, we have all of our magic. We have all of our weapons. Um, even the, the crappy twin sword, which we <sighs> won't be using to fight Sonya. Because that sounds like a horrible idea. Yes. Uh, so, this is the the last fight. This is where you'll have to use, you have to use the unlock spell. Because that is the last oh. gate. Uh, don't jump. Just don't do anything. Just use the unlock spell. You have to. There's no more keys. The keys are all gone. Uh, and then if you have all 12 tokens, good. If you don't, then good luck going back through the monstrously large level looking for them. Because there are no entrances. All right, refreshing pause. Now let's fight I... Sonia, the last boss. Uh, and like the rest of the dungeon, this is going to be... We're going to figure out her pattern yeah. <laughs> as we go. Uh, it's easy. She's easy, though. Uh, very, very, very easy. And uh, there's the the one trick I, I will point out when it happens um, that will make you pretty much say uh, the lower left corner. We won't be using that because she didn't actually go down there very much. Oh, yeah. um, she does summon uh, some not enemies, but where is she? Appeared oh, in the middle there. There we go. There's her glorious violet visage. Oh. Uh, those things are sort of new enemies, I guess. They take five shots with the mace. Um, they will explode on their own if they get stuck on a wall like that. The only way you can hit her is when she leans forward and then just mace her in the face. Yeah. So you want to get rid of those guys because they will just continuously bounce around. And she keeps spawning in more yes. and more. Yes, now we will, oh, okay. That was the All first right. death. We learned that she zooms across the screen after setting off. She pretends to be yeah. Superman. Yeah. So. She will uh, she'll spawn a few of these in uh, really only four locations. She only appears in four locations. There's a second one. And she only zooms across the screen from a further two locations. Uh, we'll die one more time when I, I get caught off guard by the second zoom position. But then after that, we'll be uh, gravy. Yeah, just all the way to the end. So there, she'll zoom from the upper right to the lower left. And oh. she will do similarly from the upper oh, you can left. Hit her from the side like you can. That, too. that oh, is that, the trick. That makes that. That is the trick to so safety. Much easier. That is the reason uh, that this boss is actually just really, yeah, really easy. Maybe. Yeah, I just yeah, I should have seen that coming. Uh, yeah. But anyways, that is the entire pattern. I now have it down. So Yay. this will be this will be the last fight for Sonya, I guess. Just make sure there will be a few close calls because you know that's how I roll. Yeah. You know, just when... dancing around the little. Bacteria ball things, I guess. I'm not entirely certain. Uh, She's supposed to be the ice queen, so what is she shooting? Much. Well, I heard her palace is icy. I mean, well, I'm I'm gonna assume she's the ice queen. She's on a frozen skull island. Maybe she's she's just cold, a cold witch, if you will. So so yes, she will appear. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sorry, misogyny is funny. Uh, there and then pattern. We'll start over again. That is it. That's the whole pattern. Will appear up in that corner, facing a different direction. But uh, that was the third position, where the bacteria will come from. And then here we have the uh, little inner spot again. Yeah. Usually you can get away with just killing one of them, no big deal. Uh, the other one will usually just uh, destroy itself. Yeah. So yeah, you can get away with one hit here to turn the corner, destroy the bacteria, repeat ad nauseum. Uh, yeah. Not too terribly difficult. Definitely not as hard as, like, say, a troll. <laughs> That's really that will sad. be not will not be named. That that the troll that took sixty six hits is uh, yeah the uh, is the holy than the, the holy grail of this fight is getting uh, two hits from the side, which is possible, and I get that towards 
I think it, it happens twice for me. Uh, it just makes it more efficient, I really. Think, I think you got it once before you died. Yeah, I, I got it before I died, but obviously I didn't really count. She's already uh, turning redder. Redder means death. Death or -er, deathlier. Death -er. Deathlier. -er. Even the black is a redder shade. Yeah, you know, so it goes. Palette limitations, I guess. <laughs> well, they, they could have left the, the black the same, but it, it, look, it literally looks like they just injected some red into it. Like good old NES, like Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtle style. Yeah, just so. It's like, well, the boss is all black. Well, just make him red. Wait, what? See, right, yeah, if you... Oh, I, almost, I almost got a double hit there, yeah. but that's how you do it. You have to uh, catch her right on the, I guess, the nose, so to speak, mm -hmm. and then run down a little bit and then make another quick jump. On the nose or on the... Yeah, I have not experimented. Hand. I do not know if the twin swords, in fact, kill her sooner. But I wouldn't recommend it at all. You need to get those bacteria dead fast, and you don't need your sword whiffing on you by appearing behind you instead of in front. front. Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to... Uh, plus, the speed and the amount of mace you can put on the screen at one time, time you can just sort of fill the screen in front of her when she walks wanders by like this. Yeah. Uh, that one was not a good example, but... That was, uh, uh, that was a miss. Yes, definitely. That was a miss. So yeah, you can just... just Totally well on her with uh, just throwing, continually macing her in the face like she's a stalker or, yeah, or something. I think I mentioned that before. Yeah. Or something. I'm going to say you rapist, mean, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> rape mace her. That's weird. That is uh, that's an interesting mental image. Thank yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just thought I'd, just thought I'd throw it out there, you know, yeah, one last good I image. I mean, because everybody them. was thinking that joke. Yeah. So. yeah. Almost. This is uh, also the last time we'll be hearing this awesome bas boss battle music. So. Aww. Aww. This, this, this is kind of good, sad. This is good music. Though. Yeah. This, I'm gonna miss this. Yeah. This is this is really good music. The Fallen uh, Brothers did a good job. All three of them actually. They're all in the credits, which we will of course be seeing in the next part to the grand finale, the ending of Equinox, which, um, all things considered, is actually pretty good. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's actually a pretty good ending. Huh. Yeah. Well, Especially for a game that pretty much has no story, but yeah, it's a little bit of a. It is a good finale. We'll be watching that next. Uh, okay, so we're, we're we're almost done with this. Well, yeah, we're we're nearing the nearing the end. It's the the pattern repeats over and over again. Um, just don't do anything overly stupid, um, as I occasionally do. Almost. Let's see, almost get a. Uh, I should have walked a little bit sooner. That was almost an almost double hit. Almost a double hit. Yeah, I think I almost get killed by these stupid bacteria a few times, just dodging them yeah. valiantly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then, and then and then repeats. Yeah. I also like how the um I don't know if this is an accident because of the music, but occasionally the tempo will be very erratic. It'll go a little bit faster and a little bit slower. Very uh Sort of Rubato and its interpretation. Is, is, is that uh, is that because of the emulator or is that? Uh, no, that's that's in the uh, the original game oh, too. Oh, she's straight red now. She's straight red. She has little red writing on it. It's very near death. Except evil. Yeah, evil. Gigantic. Oh no. It's, it's just gonna take a few more hits and she'll actually be dead. Yeah. I miss Equinox. It is a great game. It's extremely colorful and difficult. It's your kind of game. Yes. I will have more. I will have more uh, reminiscing uh, during the actual ending. Uh, there's not too much more to say about the actual boss fight. By this time, you've seen it all. It's just a matter of attrition. Yeah, and this... hit it until she dies. Yeah, that's uh, that's a great way to play almost every game. There we go. Hey, Good old hit. double hit. Although it would have been uh, great if that had been the last one. Yeah, it's it's almost done. Uh, I think I'd make some irresponsible choices here. I don't die, thankfully. <laughs> Because, because that that, ba that bacteria is gonna haunt me. It's gonna bounce right towards me in a second. Yeah. Just, now there's a bacteria there, and it's gonna spawn some more. Ah no! Okay. <laughs> okay. That could have been bad. The, the slowest motion, just. Uh, yeah. And that, that one's coming back for me. Okay. I saw it that time. Yeah. It's a little yeah shadow. Yeah. Time. All right. This is it. This is the final hit of the game. And Sonya's dead. Dead forever. Banished. Subdued. 
really dead or just vanished? Oh, who knows? I mean, Does it, they're really. the same thing. They yeah, can always really. come back. It's a video game. All right, we will be watching the ending next time on the final episode of Let's Play Equinox.